Malacanang Palace opened its doors to host and bestow recognition on the biggest rainbow coalition in civil society, thus reinforcing the President and First Lady's policy on inclusivity and social responsibility. Our Alan Francisco walks us through last night's highlights honoring the LGBTQ plus community in this report. The arrival of the father of the Republic of the Philippines, mga kapatid, show your love to President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos! Equal treatment of fellow Filipinos, regardless of sector, religion, or gender. This was what President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. emphasized when he and First Lady Lisa Marcos attended the LGBT Pride Reception at Malacanang Palace last night as part of Pride Month celebration this June. Officials and members of the LGBT Philippines attended the event, during which their national and local officials were also sworn in. According to President Marcos, promotion of equal treatment is part of providing a new Philippines which he says will bring opportunity, protection and value to one another. We in the Philippines, ay, ang habol lang naman talaga natin is that everybody is treated not for any other thing, not for race, not for uh, creed, uh, not for uh, orientation, but just as Filipinos. And that uh, this government, that's what he's trying to do. As long as we stay true to the idea that was a Pinoy, Pinoy yan eh. Wala nang, wala nang, yan. No questions asked, that's, uh, that's it, we should all be treated the same. And uh, that's what we are continuing to try to do. Yung pagkatao ang tinitignan natin, uh, hindi yung ano-ano pa. Kaya uh, that's uh, the principle that we follow uh, with this administration and with this government. LGBT Philippines also promotes the establishment of an advisory body or commission for LGBTQ plus affairs under the office of the president. The group asked for the support of First Lady Lisa Marcos in endorsing the proposal. According to First Lady Lisa, the president will surely grant the request. With the help of the proposed advisory body, the organization will be stronger. While the passage of the national anti-discrimination law continues to be discussed in Congress, LGBT Philippines promised to help local governments in passing ordinances relating to anti-discrimination based on sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, and sexual characteristics such as those enacted in Cebu City, Bacolod City, and Davao City. It was in June 2016 when LGBT Philippines was formed. This is the only SEC-registered national alliance of LGBTQIA plus organizations, networks, and allied groups in the entire country. Unti-unti na nating pinipinturahan ng bahaghari. Unti-unti na nating nakikita ang makulay na bahaghari. Patuloy tayong magmahal at mangarap. Muli sa susunod na mga oras at paglabas natin sa palasyong ito'y bitbitin natin ang sama-sama nating mga pangarap at mga sama-sama nating mga advokasya. Mas magpalaki tayo. Let us be one of the strongest forces and organization in the Republic of the Philippines. Alan Francisco for the Nation.